it's my pleasure to introduce the irrepressible leader of the group Code Pink, Maria Benjamin. Well, we are leader full, so I'm one of the leaders. Um, and I want to talk about what we can do because we've heard from so many great speakers about the problems. Uh, so I'm going to talk about three different things. You know with the recent murder of the Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi, this is actually giving us an opening to show how toxic the relationship has been between Saudi Arabia and the United States and to also uncover the catastrophic war in Yemen that the Saudis have been leading with U.S. help. So the first thing I want to say is this is the time to cut off weapon sales to the Saudis. And if you're here tomorrow, please join us at 10 a.m. in the Senate Hart Building. We will go from office to office of those senators who are still refusing to cut off weapon sales to the Saudis. So let's hear one chant. No weapon sales to Saudi Arabia. No weapon sales to Saudi Arabia. No weapon sales to Saudi Arabia. Number two. sales to Saudi Arabia. The second thing I want to say is that both Saudi Arabia and Israel, together with Donald Trump, want to take the U.S. into another war in the Middle East, and that is a war with Iran. And we must say we will not allow this to happen. On November 4th, the U.S. government is imposing yet another round of sanctions on Iran to squeeze the Iranian people so much that they will come out in the streets and overthrow their government. And what will be the result? Absolute chaos. We cannot permit that to happen. We're having an all-day summit on Iran to talk about strategies on December 1st here in Washington, D.C. Please consider joining us. We are also taking a delegation of up to 100 people on a peace mission to Iran. And that will be on January 12th to January 20th. If anybody is interested in going, please go on to the Code Pink website. There are lots of people who want to help other people go, can help you fundraise for it. Consider joining the peace delegation to Iran. So let's say, no war with Iran, no war with Iran, no war with Iran, no war with Iran. And the last thing I want to bring up is that when you look underneath all of this, what you find is the weapons companies that make so much money from a state of perpetual war. So Code Pink, with about 70 other groups, has launched a, launched a campaign called Divest from the War Machine. You might have heard and you might be part of environmental movements that have taken trillions of dollars out of the fossil fuel industry. We have to do the same thing with the war industry. This is something we can do in our cities, universities, pension funds, state pension funds, faith-based organizations. So many ways you can get involved. So please go to codepink.org and look at how you can help us get money out of the war machine. And let's end by saying, no money for war. No money for war. No money for war. No money for war. Thank you.